The second practice problem is to make the list entry script be case insensitive when it does alphabetizing. We can see what the problem is if we run the script and do this. So you can see I've capitalized horse and because of the way that um, alphabetizing happens, all of the capital letters are considered to be uh, more towards the front of alphabetizing than the lowercase letters. So if we want to fix this, there's a pretty easy solution and that is to just turn everything into lowercase. So let's uh, review how to do that by going back to the previous lesson under string class methods. So this is where the upper and lower and title case um, methods were introduced. So one of the things that we can see from the, the um, lowercase method is that it does not change the string itself, but rather returns a version of the string that is lowercase. So that's different than the sort function, which actually acted on the list itself. So uh, let's see how we can implement this. So before we actually append each item to the list, all that we have to do is to uh, turn it into a lowercase. So one option would be to um, do this. So we'll take the lowercase version of item and set it equal to a new value and then append that item to the list before uh, before we do it. Okay, so let's, before we alphabetize it. So let's try and see if it works. So uh, zebra. And now we see that it did take the lowercase of it first. Now here's a situation where an actual uh, quicker solution would be to just, um, just do the lower um, method on the um, item before we append it. And we could do that like this. So what it will do is to apply the lower um, case method to item and then the output of that will be input into the append uh, method. So this is a little more compact and we avoid this issue of having to create another variable, but it also makes it a little bit less clear what is going on in the code. In any case, we can go ahead and try this and see if it works. And we see that it works just as well as the other one did. So simply by tacking on this method to the string before we passed it in, we could very easily solve the problem.